It's a special day of celebration here today. And there's been explosions and church bells. So let's start off by following the planned route. We have a lot of climbing to do right at the start. So I'm going to try and uh, be as economical as possible. Had a uh, hearty breakfast, energy breakfast, finishing off with a Nutella pancake. Town of water say down here. Rashe's a lift up there. And that's the Seseda gondola and cable car. And the gondola just under here is the one that goes up to Sizer Arm, which I could take. It's a bit of a cop out though. So now we're off road. Look at the mixture of off road and tracks. And I don't think anything is going to be like those boulder strewn bridleways in the Lake District. I should have got the phone number of the, uh, the bike shop before leaving, but he's uh, given me a repair kit, which he obviously doesn't give out to anyone else. Pump, tools, Go nice and steady being solo. Get a nice little track, isn't it? The brakes. I might see if I can adjust them. They're a little bit too close to the handlebars for my liking. Bonjour. No. I think this is only open to local traffic, this one. Quick breather. Quick shot of the bike, a ghost with full suspension and uh, latest Bosch Gen 4. Except the only disappointment is it has this Purion display which gives you bars rather than percentage, which I probably said before. Got my GPX with the route on it, of course. Little shrine there. This bike's what you call a mullet. Just got a 27 and a half rear wheel, put a chunkier tire and a 29 on the front. And they seem to think that's good for manoeuvrability. Not bothered about that today. Bonjour, no. You're a hero. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I need a motor. This is so we're nearly nearly on to the Alp Alp de Suisi. There's the wildflowers, and in a minute you're going to get an incredible view as we finish the major part of the climb. And you come up here, and there is Sassalongo. <laughs> this little shortcut joins the main routes.
Buongiorno. So, oh, I've let me go in front. That's a mistake. Oh, horse has got spooked. Oh, that guy's letting me go by. Very kind of him. But, let's stop for a breather and try and point out some of these mountains. So that's a little valley over there that we've come up. So as you come across, over here, let me get the GoPro right. So you've got the Erdels, Erdel, Erdels, with the Coal Razor Puiz Geisler National Park, Nature Park. And then over there you've got uh, Val Chedl. I don't know what the pointy one is. Sala Massif. Sasalungo, German name, Leinkoffel. And the one on the right, Sasso Piatto. Uh, these are teeth, some sort of teeth, I'm not, not sure what. And then there's a bit more to the right, but I'll just stop while we get this uh, lift out of the way. We're coming up in front, that's called Cilia or Punta Santa. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Again, multiple language names. And there is a hut on the top there. Can't remember the name of it. So, somewhere over there, I think we have to weave our way along around the corner. Enjoy the bit of the downhill. Lots of people on my route. I don't know what kind of speed they're going to be going. Depends if they've got motors or not. And just stopping here because there's a field of cotton grass, which I haven't seen much of so far. Beautiful, isn't it? Onwards. Endless wildflowers. Fantastic peaks in the background. Great view there. Under the valley. Over the Alp, I should say. We've got a big group of mountain bikers in front. But I'd say from the speed they're going, They've not got motors, so uh, we'll see when we catch up to them. Be fair guess that they're all going where I'm going, to the Val Duron. Val Duron, oh, Squizzy, 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 Val Duron, oh, Squizzy. There's a mix of uh, motors and non-motors in that big group. That's 
27. 27. A quick look here. <sighs> Beautiful. Ah, no. False dawn. There's the coal is up there in the distance. There's quite a bit more climbing to do, so I'll take it, take it real easy on the battery. Uh, great view now of the track and the coal at the high point. Got to keep telling myself Front brake is on the left. Tend to use them both anyway and gently. Can't adjust the brake lever positions like I can on mine. We'll live with it. One thing is still enough for all this. Shame having to drop again before climbing. Buongiorno, scusi. That's yeah. All this descent and then having to climb again. I have no body armor. Not gonna be a hero today. Gonna be one hell of a climb. Coming all the way down here before going up again. Buongiorno. As I was saying, oh, if after the coal, it's basically all downhill. Then a gondola back up and then downhill all the way home. We hope. Oh, yeah, it's a steep one here. Fellow e bikers. We've gone for turbo now, that near the top, think of a human battery, big difference. What do you want to Just keep whacking on at 80 rpm, up a few gears. And, wow, well, it's a bit more. Mm. 
to stop on that coal for a breather and a drink. Buongiorno, grazie. Grazie, I think there's more, more, more to come. Grazie. So we're at the coal at the start of the descent down through Val Duron. So it should be descent all the way. Quite a bit of loose rocks. Take it easy. Just remember which break is which. Yeah, it's better to let it go a bit on the very loose stuff. Because you've got a good recovery, recovery section. More like back home riding. It's quite steep this. Being uh, firm is good. It's going to get easier. Pop, go pop a bit. That's the way to do it. That's much better. I like it. Sound. Why they mark the trail as advanced. Wow, look at that. Fantastic. Quick little panorama. Onwards. Going through thick snow. Stop. Very nice. 
actually up on the left is the uh, peak of uh, Col Rodella where the cable car has taken me up to.